What's going on guys? Today we're back in RSL, Raid Shadow Legends, and we are going to show you the progress that we've made. We are also going to make this a community episode. In every video, I share with you guys some comments and suggestions from the community. But today, we're going to take a deep dive into everything that's been said within my comment section, and we're going to go into Raid. Now keep in mind, we did just have some big progress. We just got our champion Tyrant to six stars. We leveled him to 15 as well. We've gotten a bunch of rewards as well, and we have double XP going on now for three days. So it's time to get some grind on. It's time to get some champions up and level. And what I've actually been doing as of late is I went into the Nightmare campaign, and I know this is not the best use of energy, but it is a good use of, well, me progressing and getting all the bottom row rewards. So I've been working on getting Tyrant, Armager, and what's her name? Erlaine, uh, uh, Ernest, I forget her name. Well, we're going and getting her up as well because there is a debate going on right now within the community whether I should be using, let's get her name right this time. Ah, Ursula, Ursula, like from The Little Mermaid, yes. Or if I should be using Mother Sabelle. What do you think? Who would be the better healer reviver for me as we progress? With this being said, I appreciate all of you guys so very much, more than you know, which is why a good portion of today's video is gonna be dedicated to all of you. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for subscribing, following me on my journey, watching me as we have grinded Kale to max, as we finally got Geomancer to six, then we moved on to Rathalos, our first legendary, and then now our second legendary to max, which is Tyrant. And if you guys haven't yet played Raid Shadow Legends, consider using my code. It's the QR code you see there, and it's in the description of this video. It's there every video, and I say this every video as well, because it directly supports my channel, keeps me playing Raid making these videos for you, and keeps my editor getting paid. Yeah, the guy, it's his job. We work together and it's his job. Is that not cool? I get to play games for a living, he gets to edit for a living, and we have a, a really great relationship. Well. That's what we got going on. So let's actually go into the first battle here. Like I said, we are grinding campaign. By the way, we got some silver. Pa-pling, that's ours. And we're actually almost at the gems. And look at this, 45, another three days of XP. Can't hate on that. So although not the best use of energy, this is a good value that I get here for the upgrades on my champions. The champions get some really solid levels from this. It's gonna be like 11,000 experience or something like this because we have double experience and because we are in the nightmare. I can't believe I'm getting good enough to go through nightmare, guys. And by the way, we, we went pink in the background today, all with the pink. It doesn't make me look like I'm too tan. I, I look okay with the pink. And look at that, taken down the rewards, almost 12,000 experience. It's really good for me getting my tyrant up. And honestly, Armager has been low level long enough. It's, it's time that we progress. Now let's get to the boss fight and let's see if we can actually take him down. This could be tough. We may need, oh, we got this, we got this. Kale can solo this, I think. He could probably solo the entire thing. So when I want to get the two stars or the three stars, I should say, we just got to Kale through it. <laughs> Whoa, 13,000 experience on that. Plus we're progressing in the tournament, which we have yet to even look at what tournament that is. We're going to the next. This uh, this campaign climb, it's gonna be campaign climb and love to the Raid Shadow Legends community. I'm throwing love. All right, there we go, another level. Let's go to the next level. Look at us crushing right here. This is really good. I wonder though, I mean, we're getting the experience, which is why we're doing this now. We want the experience and the push but I wonder if it's worth it or if I should just go solo Kale through all of it, three-starring everything. Because if I go to the map, we could do that. Here's got some more gems, blink, that's ours. 100 gems, let's go. And we're almost on our way to that, the next 45 days of rewards. We're gonna, this, I actually enjoy going through campaign like this. I, I think it's quite fun. What's going on inside of the game right now before we get into some of your comments? Let's take a look right here. We haven't been doing a ton of dungeons. I guess I could dive into Spider to try and get my myself another Soul Stone and look at this, another day of boost. I think that's actually something we need to do. We should do some Spider because it's gonna give us the reward. So we'll do Spider and get the rewards there as well. So what are we up to on Spider? I wanna take off Super Raids. What team setup do we have? Spider, I get to This is actually quite good. We now got some more levels on some of these champions, so good stuff. 
Let's uh, let's try out Spider right here. See what we can do. I think that Tyrant on this team is going to melt all the Spiderlings. And gonna really, yeah, there we go, look at this. We're gonna melt it all. Already looking pretty good if I say so myself. Now the thing is we want Spider to take burn every single time one of our Spiderlings has burn on them. Our big, the big Spider can take that damage. Okay, there's the HP burn. Now if we don't kill the Spiderlings, good, look, right here, it's happening. It's happening, that was good. Rathalos with a big strike. Tail with a big strike. High Katoon, we're gonna go choppy chop chop. Boom, boom. Oh my God, so close. I thought we could get it done. One more shot, as long as he doesn't heal, we'll be good. Oh my God. Seriously, dude? Oh, we got guys, all turn meters are ready to go. So let's just go here and end it. We got the double XP as well. Not that we need it. I guess Tyrant gets some XP on there. We're getting a little progress, but really we should be getting progress in the dungeon event too. Let's start this out again, and I'm gonna go on auto and see how it does by itself. Now this is gonna be the next stage of it. Right, we got him down to half health. We do have some strong champions up. Rathalos is, oh my God, Rathalos, dude. And they just healed, Jesus. Spider's just gonna eat, eat me from the inside out. Their poison is gonna melt my guts. No reward, ugh. Feels bad, man, feels bad. All right, guys, I think it's time that we dive into some of your community comments and questions just as a thank you guys for supporting so much along the way. So what I clicked on here are all comments that have been that I all comments all together, except for ones that are held for review, because maybe there were bad language in them. So let's go through and see what you guys have to say. And these are the most recent ones going to the older ones. So from my I reached level 50 on the account and six star to legendary and raid. We have NP1547, and now you can go to Hell Hades videos about champion training. He usually puts this info when looking over Fusion Calendar, saying it's easier for you to find the video, how to easily get a lot of points, because you just missed a lot of freebie points in champ training when upgrading Tyrant. Yes, I know, I know. I said that in the video too, that you guys were gonna say that. I knew that was gonna come. I need to look at it and I need to see because honestly, I feel like I waste so much, but also in doing it's a waste too. We got to figure it out so we could get more out of those events. Next comment is from, uh, who is this? Odinaris4096. Your team needs an AOE healer also. Apothecary and High Katoon serves the purposes on the clan boss team. Oh, and we have some constructive criticism from him. It's better to use a third attack for Kale when facing one enemy like the boss instead of Acid Rain. Well, that makes sense because the A3 attack hits three times and has a two turn po poison per hit. The most important stat for placing debuffs on enemies is accuracy and most important stat for arena battles is your speed. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. I'm gonna go to someone else's for the third. That is true though and I would typically, if there's only one enemy in front of me, I would use not an AOE damage hit but something that's more targeted for sure. We have Metroid 74. They made it until the end of the video. Echo, you did the right thing by not throwing a brew into the food of the one star sh champs. Should only throw brews into three star champs and above. All right, so right, I didn't throw the brews into the ones I've learned. You guys have yelled at me for this before. So I learned my lesson there. I comment as I watch, so made it in the original comment was on credit. Oh, that's funny. They knew, they knew that that was coming. So your great haul and know you're behind on challenges. You need one level in attack percentage. It's easy to get done and rewards and challenges can help a lot. Yes, I know, I'm I'm one away from getting that next jump in attack. We definitely need to get there. Live arena should not be open to people until they have 10 level 60s, to be honest. I'm struggling and have 99 Lego. You have 99 legendaries? I have three and it, and it has been a struggle. That was from Leroy Banging. We have Ricky, finally I can stop asking you to get Tyrant going. Yes, I know, I'm, I'm pretty excited we got Tyrant going myself. That was uh, a champion we've been waiting for for a while, so big ups on that one. We have John saying, drop one brew into three star food, four brews into four star food, and 10 into five star food, that way more champ training efficient. Oh, but then look at this, underneath, no it's not. The most efficient is two, in three stars, four and four stars, six and five stars. 10 is way overshooting it. See, everyone has a different opinion here, but it looks like 
three, four, and five stars I should be putting some brews into when these events are happening. Then we have uh, Ikun FIFA saying, you know Affinity, right? I do. If not, let me tell you. We'll listen, but I do know about Affinity, but maybe some people watching don't. There are four Affinities in the game. Spirit, green, magic, blue, void, purple, and force, red. Strong, spirit is strong against force, but weak against magic. Force is strong against magic, but weak against spirit. Magic is strong against spirit, but weak against force, and void was average. The affinity knowledge can make your champ get higher damage. For example, Rathalos Force could do high damage against Kale, magic, but will do low damage against Sung Wukong, spirit. Hope this can help. It can, and actually the image inside of the game where you, um, here's the affinity thing right here, showing what's good against what, all right? So this is a nice, easy way of seeing what works where. That's what I go by, but I appreciate your comment. It was helpful. You should pick Smite as your mastery for Tyrant, says Joseph Christopher. I haven't even gotten into masteries yet, but that is something that we will be doing soon. I'll keep an eye out for Smite. Ah, oh, this is cool. Star Chaser says you don't need to drop down an arena. You could spend silver medals on bronze upgrades. Hashtag made it. I didn't know you could uh, double dip or use different, different types of metals. And then we have a comment here from Nova saying they just made it. They just want to let me know that they made it until the end of the video. I love that. Oh. All right, Joseph is saying, Echo, you shouldn't have fed the fusion rare. I know you aren't doing the fusions right now, but it takes people ages to get the rares and you might not get one for a long time. I would have been better to feed the five-star judge, the faction guardian just isn't worth it right now for you. Good progression is so much better. You know what? That's actually a good point. A rare that could be used for a fusion are not things I get every day. All right, mistake was made. I do that sometimes. And look at this guy. He's telling us to download Raid using the champion. That was my comment. DJ Obable saying a very long comment here. We're gonna get the beginning of it here. Hi, keep up the good work. Overall, I think you're actually blessed with the champions you've pulled. I would probably focus on getting Tyrant and Ursula to six stars and masteries first. Tyrant has a defense-based champion, or as a defense-based champion, is amazing. Being defense-based, his damage is scaled from defense, and so it makes him more tanky, also makes him hit higher. Now, I'm gonna go through all of the guidance he's giving about all of these champions here, but I'm not gonna read it all out for this video, but this is what I'm talking about, about community coming in and really giving out good information. Whether this is copy-pasted from somewhere, or written up by himself, it doesn't matter. It's great info for me and maybe even for you to progress throughout the game. So make sure you're scrolling through the comments as well because there's a lot of great info in there. Ragib is saying, hey Echo, I want to ask you something. Does your clan beat the Nightmare, the Ultra Nightmare Demon Lord clan boss? Because I want to join the clan of yours, being enjoying your content since the Clash of Clans days. But I don't want to miss out on the double rewards on Clan Boss, so please let me know. Cue up the good war work. Love from Bangladesh. Hashtag made it. So he wants to know if we're beating the Ultra Nightmare Demon Lord Clan Boss. Let's go and take a look. I don't know how to tell if we've beaten this before. We definitely have players that can do a lot of damage there, but I don't know that we've beaten it. We have Miguel Paul with a comment saying, tip. Use Geo's Burn for Hydra, and if you have any champion that blocks buff, use them for Hydra and Provoke. Hex, decrease attack, and you need a Reviver just in case your champions die, and if you have a healer, use them for the Hydra too. I feel like there's a lot of progression that we could get in Hydra. There's a lot of stuff that we need to do, but we're also fairly underleveled to be successful in Hydra at this point. We'll see though. I'm not giving that up. Richard Staples saying, if you plan on booking a champion, you should do it before you ascend them. Ascension usually unlocks the new ability, so on certain occasions, booking before ascending helps to focus the books. Love the channel. That makes sense, right? If you ascend them, you may open up a new skill slot or a new slot, and then when you try to book, they can go into random slots. So depending on what skills you want upgraded, I understand that makes completely good sense. Oh, here we have Jason Van Hoos with a comment slash question as to why I did something. And this is actually a conversation that's been happening between a bunch of people on the channel. Not sure why you dropped Tyrell for War Maiden. Tyrell helps a lot more in different areas in the game, like with decreased attack on the A1, decreased defense and a chance of sleep on the A2, and turn meter reduction on the A3 with a chance of stun. I didn't even build War Maiden until late in the game, and I suggest six starring Apothecary. All right, so Apothecary was not my next step with the six star. 
Um, I have a few others. Although, oh, wait a second. I take that back. Apothecary is someone that we are going to six star. I'm sorry. There's an argument for both, in my opinion, and I'm curious about what the rest of the community thinks. Let me know in the comments if you would be a chooser of Tyrell or War Maiden. Who would be your focus? And here's another comment from Barbara. I'm glad you found my comment helpful. It's something that took me far too long to learn. I featured her comment in a previous video. It's great watching you learn and enjoy raid. We can lose sight of just how much fun the early game is and the steep learning curve. Because yes, there is so much to learn inside of the game. The grind can get overwhelming when you're doing champ training events occasionally, so it's nice to be reminded why we play this. Totally true, and I think it's worth noting that I try to enjoy the game all the time. And sometimes to do that, I need to focus in on areas of the game that I am interested in focusing at that point in time. If that's training up food so I can get my next champion to six stars, that's where I need to focus. And sometimes I need to leave out fusions or not focus in on certain events because it takes me away from my primary goal. And someone like myself at this stage of the game, it's really hard to laser focus in, or I should say to not laser focus, but to focus on everything all at once because I'll never get it done. Hydra is seriously hard. When it first came out, we were told it was made for active play rather than auto. I tend to run battles on auto, switching back to manual when someone is eaten and I need to focus on that head to get it to spit the champ out. I'd suggest asking Ash if he'll do a collab guiding you through what you need for Hydra teams. Hashtag made it. That is a good idea. Ash guiding me through a Hydra team, huh? You think you'd be down for that? Android. 8666 is saying something that I don't agree with here, actually, and that a lot of people don't. Let's read it. Oh my god, stop using gems for energy. This is so bad. You have so few champions, you should be getting a big shard pack, in my opinion. Also, I haven't shown it in a while, so maybe you did at some point, and I just didn't recognize, but you need to stop using rares as food if you haven't finished your faction guardians yet. You should never be tossing fusion champions Last, the shield in magic or anywhere, you can take a block buffs debuffer with you or someone that can remove buffs. Otherwise, just damage to remove. All right, one thing I do agree with was using my rares that could be used for fusions as food. I messed that up, I know, I'm sorry. But using gems for energy is probably one of the best ways to use gems, especially if I have two times XP going on and I can gain experience, but I need the energy to do it. It seems like the most wise way of using it. And I don't think that me buying shard packs with gems is the best way for me. I don't want to. That's like throwing my gems into a lottery system, hoping rather than getting the guaranteed energy to progress. So I disagree with this comment. Doesn't mean it's wrong. And it doesn't mean that you guys will disagree. Again, we're a, we're a community here. And we have another made it. Nice. I think that's a good feature of what the community has to say and uh, what's going on inside of your brains as we play through the game. And I think, think that right now we are in a good spot. I wonder one last thing though, can Kale solo these? Actually, let's not even try and solo. Let's, let's try and double them up. Who should I go with? Rathalos probably. I wonder, can we solo this and get three stars? Let's just see how it all goes. All right, Rathalos has got to go. That's not going to work. You got to get Rathalos out of there. I think with the lifesteal gear on, Kale could probably do this himself. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to do this one more time with only Kale. I'm going to see if he can not lose enough health or not lose too much health so that he makes it through the first. Oh my God, we took a lot of damage there. See, that's where Rathalos was quite helpful, but then he hurt me later stage. All right, let's go here. Let's get some heal. Okay, we got our health back. Good. Turn meters down though. We're fine though. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. I think we got this. See, sometimes bringing one champion could be better. Yeah, that's going to be three stars, baby. Three stars. That's what we're talking about. The issue is we, we need the experience. So that's why we're going to grind normal campaign. Today was fun. I'm glad that we were able to uh, give a little bit of love to you guys in the community for all the love that you give to me on the channel. Again, guys, if you haven't downloaded Raid, consider using my QR code or the link in the description. Subscribe to follow me on the journey and uh, hashtag made it if you made it until the end of the video. With that being said, we have almost 13, look at this, 13,918K silver that needs to be spent and a quest that we could claim right there. We got more to do. Man, we've been slacking this morning. We better get into it and uh, keep grinding some Raid. Have a great day, guys. I appreciate all of you. That'd be good.